Hi, thank you for joining me. Today, I will be explaining what the noisy neighbor syndrome is and providing clarity around how this affects virtualization environments. We're all familiar with noisy neighbors. They're the ones that might keep us up at night or perhaps interrupt our quiet Saturday afternoon spent in our backyard. But in a virtual environment, this same scenario can happen, but just at a different level. In a virtual world, we can look at the box on the left, and that might be a server that you have deployed in your data center. On the right, the blue box represents the physical assets that this server has. This would be the hard drive, the RAM, the CPU, and the network capacity. Now, on top of those resources, virtual machines are deployed. In this case, I'm showing four different virtual machines. Now, a virtual machine A starts to download a video from YouTube or from another resource. Then it might actually extend beyond the physical resources available on the machine and start impeding on the performance of the other virtual machines around it. Virtual machine C might also, in turn, start doing something that takes up too much disk or maybe saturates the network even further. And now performance on all the machines on your server has have degraded. Now let's assume that these virtual machines are actually being hosted inside of the Verde software offered by Virtual Bridges. In this case, we've done a couple of things that help prevent the virtual machines from impeding on each other or on the physical constraints of the machine they're being hosted on. One of the things that we've done is introduced Network QoS. What this does is if Virtual Machine A has decided to go download that YouTube video, we actually will restrict the bandwidth and not permit it to extend beyond the limitations that have been previously set within the Verde tool. So Virtual Machine A might continue to download the video, but it will only be limited by the uh, administration settings configured in the console. Virtual Machine C never will be able to impede on any other resources either. And so all the virtual machines are able to, be, to present as a standard user experience and a common quality of service. Thank you for joining me today as I explain the noisy neighbor syndrome and how Verde approaches this uh, unique and sometimes hard to solve problem. If you have any other questions or are interested to hear more about Verde, please contact sales at vbridges.com.